with these other forwards and make sure they're dominating and continuing to achieve uh, in the malls and scrums. All right, those are the 23 that will take part in this critical match. Today's officials are brought to us by Advantage Referee Communications. Federico Anselmi will work the match. He's our lead referee wearing the microphone. Gavin McCandless, one of the ARs. Dave Edwards, the other. Austin Reed is the TMO. And this one is underway again. These two teams in different colors today. Toronto repping their native land of Canada, I suppose, with the red and white. Atlanta in the blue tops in their kits. Second time these two clubs have met this season. Free in the back now. They go short. Toronto right there. Stay back. See front? No, he's fine. Fourth minute of the match. Home team trying to get on the board. Went short there to Yancey Van Rensburg. Another effort there between the post. No signal yet. They're short. They try it a second time, and this one, they get through and get it down. It is put down in there, put away by Johan Momsen. But, yeah, you go to him every time. He is fourth in MLR, 79 points, 31 penalty goal kicks for him on the season, make it 32. He had three in that victory I mentioned a couple of moments ago against New England. He had 11 points in the match, and Toronto to draw his team to within no, no, no. one here I in the 18th you're doing. minute. It's different story, man. Toronto it's different has story. to win to keep its season hopes alive of the playoffs. They still got one more match, but if they don't win today, they can forget about the postseason. Atlanta, they win, they're in. The right kick from Malcolm. And Sam Malcolm doing his part again. Short. Nancy Von Rensburg, the tackle. Toronto gets it free. A couple of meters away from the try line. Trying to charge in. Looks like they're pushed back a meter or so there. Spun free. Trying to get it out wide now. They've got something to the outside and to the line. And Sheridan got over there. Won the kicking battle possession. Um, and here we go. We see the put down reaching for the line. When, yeah, Did it come out, though? Yeah, I mean, I think the rules of rugby have slightly evolved in kind of the last decade or so, where as long as your hand, the ball, and the ground are kind of all touching each other at the same time, that's a good put down. Um, to Austin, uh, yeah, TMO Austin Reed, yep. I think, decided he didn't need a look at it the touch charge was there right there and had the view um, and, and I know you watched the game Atlanta played last week they came out early in that match the way they did this one off the post and it goes through and Malcolm pinging in we've just got to stop these penalties offsides are so frustrating because that's just you getting too excited needless penalty you're going too early just hold back wait that split second and Atlanta have shown so far that they're able to cover pretty much everything Toronto's thrown at them, but giving away those penalties enables Windsor and enables Toronto to just continue tacking up more points on the scoreboard. And take the, the, sh the line out for our team, although it could bounce and go anywhere. You never want to let the ball bounce. The worst mistake, though, you can make is to touch it and then you have it go out. Off the line out, Toronto gets it. Not a well-executed start, but they get it. Let's check in with Tammy with some injury updates. Tammy. All right, I'm standing here next to the Atlanta bench, and... There's another try from Toronto. Sorry about that, Tammy. We've got to get back to you on that. Brody takes it in, and Toronto increasing the lead. The arrows are point on so far. Yeah, I mean, it's a mistake from the lineup, but sometimes the most dangerous ball can be a bouncing one. Uh, good, clean, well cleaned up from Toronto, and then it's just a mistake from the Atlanta defense. They just... The guys on the outside just stepping up, and it's you tend to put front row forwards right around the breakdown, and it's a gap between... It looks like a second row and the replacement prop just stepping forward opens up the gap for Brody, and he doesn't need a second. He had the momentum. Brody, a fantastic try and huge for Toronto. So here's Malcolm, who's having quite a... That might change just how they do this, um, but good opportunity here for Atlanta. One of those forwards, the hooker that put that ball in, Erasmus. Momsen went up to get it. John Sullivan, the other forward, wearing number 18. He came in for J.R. Jenkinson toward the line. Can they get it down? Following behind, they do. Anselmi right there, and it's put down by one of those guys you just mentioned. Erasmus got it down. It was with Austin. 
Went back to Houston last year, signed by ATL in the offseason as Coleman puts the right foot to it. Toe meets Leather and the flags go north. And it's a 23-14 match. And go after that shield again. Lost last year to the Giltinis in the final. That was Momsen. Reese gets in quick. They get it out. Trying to work through it. Little fake there. Coleman, beautiful job. He took a look, went the other way. And Kurt Coleman gets it down. And it's 23. Shut off, enabled Coleman to go through. And now for all their dominance, Atlanta are going to go into the half. Sorry, for all their dominance, Toronto are going to go into the half. Only two points ahead. Just outside of Atlanta, Georgia. 40 minutes on the clock here. Toronto has to win to keep their playoff hopes alive. Rugby ATL, they win this thing. They are in the second straight season. The ATL from the lineup. They played into Connor Keys. Here on Selmy telling Ford to be careful in there. Advantage being played here for ATL. Here they come with speed, and they break through there. A move to the inside, and it's taken in and got it down. Wydakia took it home. Rugby ATL back on top. Chip shot there, as I like to say. It's up, man. The flags go north. And it's 28-23. 19, Toronto, that is. Then he had the conversion that trimmed it to a two-point deficit for ATL. They're now on top here by five, looking to make it eight. Coleman's kick is up and good. 31-23. Rugby ATL here in the 62nd minute. Had a monster day scoring. There's a great look at it. What De La Vega Mendia is looking at. Toe meets leather, and that one is up and through right down Peachtree. In a way that, unfortunately for them today, Toronto were not. Two of their starters left the game in the first half, including a man that has scored nine tries this season, Marco Yancey von Rensburg. They also lost, J lost J.R. Jenkinson. Rowan House gets it to the back. There's the kick, and that will do it. Rugby ATL, they can go after the shield once again this season as they win the match 34-23. They are in the postseason in 2022. The Toronto Arrows will not make the postseason. They are eliminated as Atlanta wins it. They take it by 11-34-23. So Rugby ATL back in the postseason. New England, New York, and Atlanta, the three teams in the East. Just a matter of figuring out how they're seated.